Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is for you, whatever you're doing, I hope you are having an awesome day, manifesting some awesome things, and just enjoying your life, um, whatever you're doing. So today, I wanted to talk about anxiety, because it is something that as humans, we're all gonna feel and we're all gonna, you know, deal with. So whether we're having anxiety because we're waiting for something to manifest, something to come into our reality, or whether we're feeling anxious because of certain circumstances in our life, it's important to know why this is coming up and how we can move through it. So that's what I wanna talk about today. So oftentimes, anxiety, feeling anxious, is going to come from a feeling of not having control and feeling resistance or feeling like you have to push back against something that you don't like. And it usually comes from people, um, the outside world, like things outside of yourself. Uh, and sometimes it just comes from overthinking things. We can think ourselves into an anxious state um, just by anticipating stuff that we don't even know if it's gonna happen or not. And this is totally normal and it's absolutely okay to feel anxious sometimes, but you know, we need to know how to move through it. We need to know how to get past it. Um, so remember that the only thing that you can control in this whole world, in your whole life, is your mind and yourself and how you respond to things and how you are reacting to things and how you are perceiving things and how you're thinking about things and what you are focusing on. Because when you focus on something, whatever it is, whether you're focusing on it from a place of I love this, I hate this, whatever you're putting your attention to, the universe is going to give you more of. Um, it's not going to operate from I love this and I hate this and it's not going to say, okay, she loves this, we're gonna give her more of it or okay, she hates this, so we're gonna give her less of this. It's gonna operate from this is what their focus is, whatever the focus is, is going to grow. Um, it's, it's an energy, the thoughts that we think is energy, just like we are, just like everything in our world is, and it's all just going to continue to grow. That's why that 17 seconds that Abraham Hicks talks about all the time is so important, because after like, you know, a short buffer of time of like putting your attention on something, it expands and you're gonna get more thoughts about it. So that's why when we're feeling really, really anxious and we feel like we don't have that control, like that's usually all you're thinking about. And that makes sense because it's a really uncomfortable feeling and you don't want to um it like because it comes from a place of worry and fear it makes sense that we're going to keep thinking about it and keep going there and like continue to poke it but when you do this you're also allowing it to have all its control over you and you're keeping yourself in a place of um feeling bad so it's okay to not like what you don't like if you don't like something, you do not have to pretend to like it. In fact, you probably shouldn't. But at the root of anxiety, of that anxious feeling, of that panic feeling, those fearful feelings, they're coming to you because you are getting a heads up. You're getting like those feelings that you feel, whether it's a good feeling, a bad feeling, whatever feeling you are feeling, you're getting a heads up from your higher self, from the universe, from source, for what you are aligning with. And if you are feeling that anxious, fearful, like stuck, crappy feeling, you're getting an indication that your higher self, that the universe, that source does not agree with what you are thinking. And usually it comes from a lack-based mindset. So when you, like whatever the cause of your of your anxiety is, whatever you're, th whatever you're allowing to like make you feel that way. Whatever that is, the universe is saying like, no, we don't agree with this because this isn't rooted in abundance. This isn't rooted in love. Um, this is rooted in lack. And your higher self has, and the universe and source has all of these things that they know to be true. And when we feel really, really, really good about something, it's because the universe is aligned with it. And you know, it feels good because we can we can have it and the universe is like this is a high vibrational thing and when you're aligned with it and you're in a high vibrational place you're going to feel really really good whereas when you're feeling anxious when you're feeling like worried when you're feeling fearful you're at a lower vibration and it doesn't feel as good because you're thinking of things that are rooted in like lack 
and rooted in not abundance. Um, so you want to get to the root of what the feeling is, but I'm going to get into that um, actually right now because I'm going to talk about what you do when you're feeling anxious. So like I said, you want to get to the root of why you're feeling this way. And usually this is based in a belief, a lack of belief, like I've been saying in this video. You are going to find, and it may not be something that you can dig into right away. You might be feeling really, really anxious and you can't get to the core belief because you're so um, panicked and that's fine. It's something that you can always revisit. But you want to get to the cause of the anxiety, the cause of the fear, the cause of the worry in order to move past it. Because once you like pinpoint what you are focusing on, what is causing that feeling, you get your power back from it. And it, you'll know how to move through it quicker next time. Or maybe you won't even have to move through it again. It's just in figuring out what we are thinking about and what is causing that anxiety, that fear, that worry, and, and finding ways to, to move past it. So you want to figure out what you're operating from. Oftentimes what I will do is I will write down how I am feeling or I will look at myself in the mirror and do it that way. Um, and I will think, okay, or say, or write, I am feeling worried. I am feeling panicked. I'm feeling like this because blah, 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 blah. And then I need to get to, or you need to get to, all right, what am I believing right now in this moment that is causing me to feel this, this fear, this panic? So for me, what I will do, a big <laughs> thing that I have been moving through that if you've been watching my videos, you know, is a big fear that I have is lack of time um, and not having enough time to do something. So anytime that I get that triggered, that panic comes up like immediately and I feel really constricted and I start talking really, really fast and I don't think things through and I get kind of erratic. It happens. Um, I'm aware of it. But when that panic starts to come up, I have to think, all right, what am I operating from? And then when I dig into it, I'm operating from a lack, a feeling of not having enough time. And do I actually think that's true? Do I actually feel like I don't have enough time to live this life, to do these things, to move through whatever's being presented to me? No, I know I have enough time. I've always had enough time. I've never not had enough time to do something. Things have always worked out just fine. And when I start remembering that, and when I give myself that little pep talk, that's all I need to move through it. But it's, it wasn't until I got that, that root cause of the anxiety that I was able to like consciously move through it. So figuring out the root of this, this feeling is really important because we don't want to feel this way all the time and we want to be able to move past it. And I hope that you guys um, like can make sense of what I'm saying here and can do it yourself. Some other things that you should do when you're feeling anxious, if you want to get out of that anxious feeling, before you start getting to the root of your problem, because like I said, sometimes you're so anxious and so worried and so fearful that you can't get there yet, that you don't even have time to stop and think and dig into stuff. Like I get that. It can be really, really hard when you're having like a panic attack or when you are just like crying because you're so stressed out and so anxious and so worried and have so much anxiety in you. So some things that you can do. One big thing is try and move your body. Um, whether you go on a run or a walk or uh, do a couple jumping jacks or dance, do something that's going to physically move your body to get that stuck energy out. Just expel it, just get it out. Um, that's a good one to also clear your head. Uh, another thing that you can do is EFT tapping. I'm not super well versed in this. I know there are quite a few people who are in this group that are, um, which is awesome. You can also Google and YouTube different videos and techniques for EFT tapping, but that is you're tapping different um, energy points on your face and um, on your collarbone. There's a few different spots and it's, it's meridians in your body, 
that are going to, again, expel that energy and get that panic out of there. Um, that's a big thing that you want to do. You want to just get rid of it. After you've done one of those things, you can try meditating. You can, um, like, you know, clear your mind, calm down, think of something that feels better. Uh, I do suggest doing either the EFT tapping or moving your body or something that's going to expel that energy before you get into meditating or before you get into um, talking to another person about it because it's really hard to go from anxious to just clear your mind and meditate, especially when you're moving down like downhill uh, at like 80 miles an hour and you have no end in sight. It's, it's really hard to just like turn the brakes on and stop thinking. So that's why, you know, moving that energy out, getting rid of it is important first, then meditate, clear your mind, think of good things, be grateful, you know, something else that can, um, help you is to think about what you have manifested. Think about what you have created for yourself. Be grateful for what you have made in this life because you've made so many things. Everything that you experience, you've created, which is really, really awesome. Um, so another thing that you can try when you're feeling anxious after you've kind of gotten that energy out is change your focus. A big one to do for that is talk to another person about something in their life that they, they enjoy. I wouldn't suggest talking to someone about something that they don't enjoy and have them get on their panic wheel and have them start freaking out and getting anxious. Ask someone, just just ask someone like, hey, what's, what's going well for you? Or, hey, like, what are you excited about? People like talking about what makes them feel good. So when you invite someone to do that, they're gonna, they're gonna feel good. That's going to expand. You're going to start feeling better. You're going to start thinking of things that feel better. It's just consciously creating like a really good experience for yourself. So talking to other people about what they enjoy about their life, what's going well for them, anything positive is a really good way to shift your focus. And talking to another person can be helpful because then you're not really like if you are listening to the person and not stuck in your own head you're not going to go back to that, you know, panic, anxious mindset. And it may be hard not to talk about what's making you feel fearful, worried, anxious, but try it. You can do it. And that's, again, why I suggest moving that energy out. So when you're feeling anxious about what you are trying to manifest, I'm sure all of us have felt this when we're like, why isn't it here yet? Where is it? I'm looking for it. I've done everything I can. It's not here. Is it ever going to come? And you start to panic and you start to get anxious and you start to worry that you are never going to get it. Guys, everything that you want is a vibrational certainty and everything that you want, you can have. Just remember that. Please remember that. And it's so hard to remember that when we're panicked and when we haven't been able to, you know, create what we've been trying to manifest for so long. Like, I get it. I have things that I've been trying to manifest that I don't have yet. But you want to go from feeling anxious to then feeling hopeful, right? Because you're not going to go from feeling anxious to feeling like you expect it. You're not, that's too big of a jump. So if you go from feeling anxious to feeling hopeful about it to feeling like, all right, like, yeah, this this would be possible. Like, I hope this happens. Like, I wish this happens. And then to, this is going to happen for me. I'm creating this for myself. I am manifest. Like, I am a magnet for this thing that I want to have. Um, that's kind of the, the process that you want to go through. Um, and remember that when you are in that, it's not here yet. I don't have it. That really constricted energy. You might be accidentally putting yourself in a holding pattern. You're keeping yourself separate from it because you are always operating from lack. And whatever you operate from in here, the universe is going to continue to give to you because that's how energy works. We attract what we are, not what we want. And um, like I said before, if you think about the things that you've manifested and you've thought about the things that you have created for yourself you'll start to feel better. Like I start small. I start thinking about like, if it's a beautiful day, I'm like, wow, I created this beautiful day. Or if I met someone really nice, I'm like, wow, I created that interaction because people are a reflection and I'm, you know, just getting different parts of me reflected back. Um, I created this awesome lunch I'm having, like start small, get bigger. Remind yourself that you're 
always creating and that you've created amazing things and you will continue to create amazing things. Um, and that's why gratitude, like making a list of what you are grateful for can be very helpful with this. Um, like 10 things every day. If you write a list of 10 things that you are grateful for every day and you remind yourself of just what a powerful creator you are, that feeling of anxious, not having it yet, will start to go away because you'll know like it's gonna come I am creating it and then you start to embody the feeling that you want to have before you get the, the the physical manifestation when you start to embody that feeling when you get to the feeling place first and then you let the manifestation come to you it's a way easier way to to, to manifest um, you know start from the inside out so yeah um Anxiety, something we all feel, something that's totally normal, something that we can all move through. Um, hi to everyone who's been saying hello on this. Hi, Abby. Hi, um, Khaled. Hi, Sarah. Um, you either operate from a place of love or fear. We probably all feel we have a second personality within us that says things to us that makes us feel bad about ourselves and keeps us disconnected from source. Renee, that is really, um, like, on point. It's true. Like, when you... I feel like... Yeah, no, I totally resonate with that. That you have, like, a, a... A really, like, positive, bubbly, like, yes! Version of you. And then there's, like, the outer vortex, like... I hate everything and nothing goes right for me version of you. It's, it, there's two. There's your in vortex version of you and your out of vortex version of you. Um, so, yeah, that's really... That's really awesome. And I'm happy that you shared that because... It is important to remember. Um, I think that's all I have about anxiety for you guys today. I hope that it has helped you, inspired you, made you feel good, made you feel more in control. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, let me know what you're manifesting. Let me know what you're creating for yourself. And if you have other ideas for videos for me to do, let me know. This video came from someone asking if I could do one about anxiety. So... Yeah, uh, you guys come up with the best ideas for me when you guys let me know what you want to talk about and what you need more information on or what works for you. It helps. So I'm going to go, but I hope you all have an amazing day and create amazing things and just have an awesome experience today. All right, guys, I love you. Love and light.